First of all, let's get this straight. I'm not recommending that you become a graphic designer by any stretch of the imagination. Leave that to a graphic designer. We can do graphic design for you or hire somebody locally. That's not what I'm suggesting. But I do highly recommend that you get a little bit of knowledge on how to make just simple changes to be able to do postcards. Uh, in our Ad of the Month Coaching Club, we actually provide postcards and ads for you every single month where you can go in and just change out your logo. In fact, this is a postcard that we provided last month where you change out your logo and change out some things and just make this your own postcard. I'm going to show you how to do that here in this video in Photoshop or Photoshop elements but as well how we teach in our in our online training programs our internet marketing classes you want to be able to edit graphics there as well so I'm going to show you a few things about dealing with Photoshop and Photoshop elements now why Photoshop or Photoshop elements Microsoft Word could never do anything remotely like this okay get so understand that but two, understand that even publisher can't do things nearly this nice as far as graphics so Photoshop or Photoshop elements is ideal Photoshop elements um, there's a link that I've got that can I either give you a, a trial if you go to the Adobe site or follow the link that there might be underneath this video you can get a free trial for 30 days also I think right now at adobe.com it's on sale for $80 so it's a cheap program to, if you get Photoshop elements not the full scale Photoshop program now if you want to do quite a bit of stuff you might want to go ahead and get the full Photoshop program look at spending anywhere from three hundred to six seven hundred dollars depending on and you know what shape you get it and, and where you get it at but Photoshop the full program isn't something that I necessarily recommend unless you're really trying to get into doing a lot of graphic design and you really want to learn it because it's a the whole program is kind of a hard program to learn how to use but Photoshop elements is easy especially when I show you the system of using layers once you learn and, and grasp this concept of what layers are Photoshop is very simple okay especially if you've had any experience at all in doing Microsoft Word or Microsoft Publisher even even remotely even in Word this is gonna be easy once I show you how to use layers now again this is a postcard that we've got in our out of the month coaching club and right now we've got our our, my local cleaning company's logo put in here and probably the phone number too for my local cleaning company you're gonna wanna change that stuff before you send it off to a printer like got print or overnight prints or your local printer you're gonna wanna change some of these things obviously you might even wanna change some of the text if you wanna do that but I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that but again it's all within layers because if I just go in and I click something here well in this case it did move but a lot of the times it won't move simply by by clicking something and it can be a little frustrating so what you need to be able to do is like for instance right now let's say I wanted to move this graphic here that said cleaning news unless I'm on this certain layer for the cleaning news that won't move right now I'm clicked on the layer of the logo which is called logo blue as you can see right here and that's why whatever I click on on this page the only thing it's moving is logo blue that's kinda weird Microsoft Word does not do this publisher does not do this and Photoshop does because it's it's a really neat program the way they do the layers and the layers is what makes it really neat so the only the, the, the big thing to understand about this is let's say I want to move the cleaning news tab okay I'm gonna need to come over here to the layer area and click on cleaning news and sometimes you have to look around if you named it something different but you sometimes have to remember what the name of the file was when you inserted it in but the cleaning news header and now well it's the entire header that moves because this is just one big graphic in this case but now I can actually move that header and so I can move it I can take it out I can delete it now if I wanted to delete it I would just take the whole layer and drag it down into the trash area right here which is again the little bit different kind of thing so now it's deleted now I'm gonna undo I'm just gonna un undo delete that layer by going to edit undo um, but let's say I wanna put in my own logo I would go to I would find the logo and I would maybe either or I could make the logo invisible by just clicking here where it's got the little eyeball and unclicking it now the logo is vis invisible let's say I wanted to delete the logo I would go there now if I wanna see what everything looks like and somehow sometimes that's how you can find out what each layer is go to the little eyeball and I want to delete the background oh actually that picture down there is evidently called background but there we go or I want to delete the uh, little line that looks like that is I would click there that's how you can kind of find out what each thing is and you can highlight that area that particular layer and then you can go and you can move it now the only other different thing too is to move anything it has to be clicked you have to click on this particular move tool 
in the tool this is I think called the toolbox right here in this area now the other question is sometimes this little layer palette is what it's called disappears so what do you do then well you come up here to window and you click and you make sure this little layers thing is clicked so right now it's gone oh my gosh my layers are disappeared what do I do well you come up here to window and you click on layers boom now you see your layer palette sometimes too I think the toolbox can disappear um, just make sure that this is actually clicked and you can have that disappear or, or come back and just remember window is another kind of common thing but to, again to move anything you need to have this move tool highlighted and click down and then you need to have you need to find the particular everything's gone green this is actually the text for this it looks like so I'm gonna click on this and now I can move it now what if I wanna edit the text well I, I need to click on have the layer highlighted for the text that I want to edit. So in this case, I want to edit maybe something in this paragraph. I'm going to click on this. Now I need to come over here to the tool that says T, which is the horizontal type tool, or the type tool, basically. Now, now I can click in here, and now I can edit this text. Before that, I couldn't edit the text. I had to click here to highlight the layer, then I had to click on the T to be able to actually get in the text. And then I'm actually going to click and hold down Control Plus, and I can zoom in. I think another way to zoom in is to go to view layer if I'm not mistaken and that may be different on Photoshop elements but um, you can maybe do a search for help and find out actually how to zoom in but now I'm zoomed in and I can change whatever text I want to change just like in Microsoft Word. Now I'm done with this little layer. How do I get out of that? Well sometimes that's a little bit of a problem too for somebody fresh to using Photoshop. I'm going to go back to where that was and then we're going to, let's see here, let's go ahead and get that over that way I'm gonna just click on the move tool again and then it's gonna go back to where I can just move and be able to move the actual layer a lot of times the move tool is what you wanna click on almost always after you get done editing something inside of your uh, inside of your Photoshop document so th that's really all it is you have to know which layer that you're going to if you wanna find out which layer it is make the layer invisible by clicking on the eyeball that way you know what layer it is then you go to the move tool you can move it wherever you want you can drag it down and you can delete it. You can do whatever you want to with it. Now let's go ahead and click on over here. Um, a lot of the months that we give you a postcard, the, the postcard isn't sideways, but since I picked this month, since it is sideways, it's probably one of the most unusual things that you can deal with. So we go ahead and do the tutorial here on this. So I'm gonna I'm I'm on the back side of the postcard. Again, this is the front. And what you're looking at here, by the way, the postcard doesn't look checkered. Um, it only looks checkered for right now because let's see because because it's a gradient so really it's a, a light green with a, a gradient like a lighter color green so understand that it's not gonna look checkered like that all the time what it's really gonna look like is uh, let me see where that particular layer is it's right here okay I'm gonna I'm gonna go and actually make the opacity there you go so it's actually a lighter green than that it's just the way we've got it sort of a, a lighter green you can only see it like that on your screen but when it actually prints out it's it's a lighter green so understand that sometimes you've got situations like that if you're ever wondering what it's gonna look like the one way to do it too is just save it as a JPEG go to save as and save it as a JPEG and look at it because remember when you get the file from me it's usually in a PSD so understand that as well so okay let's go ahead and go over to this other postcard and let's go back to image and let's rotate the image so we can see it a little bit better and we just went to image image rotation and it rotated the image so we can see it better you can edit it the way it was sideways by the way but obviously this is an easier way to do it so let's say um, obviously we probably wanted you would want to move this logo or delete that logo and change it to your own logo so how do you do that I'm gonna go up here and see if I can find usually uh, it's called logo blue so you guys should be able to find that if you've worked on any of these postcards at all you realize that by now uh, with newer versions of Photoshop here it is you can also uh, left click on here and, and find which one it is and and choose the particular layer that it's at because it usually has the top one when you left click over it but understand too right now I'm clicked on an area where there's three or four layers going on this is a layer for for the logo but underneath this this is a layer as well that's a layer as well and this is a layer as well but right now the only layer that I'm on is the layer for logo blue so understand how that works so let's say I delete that now I want to insert my own logo I would come up to file and then place and I would choose, I'm not really going to necessarily choose a logo, but um, I'm just going to choose something, hopefully that's kind of small. Here you go, we got a credit card, yeah, which is, there we go. And uh, 
there we go. So we got to let's say that was your company logo. It's obviously not, but there you go. So that's how you would do it. Just go to file and place, and then you would have that there. Um, now, how do we edit the phone number? We want to find the uh, layer for that particular phone number. And like I said, we can right click, and then sometimes the layer will automatically be up, or we have to look through here delete each one and obviously usually if it's text it's going to say the actual text the beginning of the text most of the time so that's a good indicator for that but so we've got that layer selected now we need to come over to the T and we want to edit this to whatever we want to edit it to um, two three four Frank Street, you know, whatever, and change how whatever you want to change it. Same thing with the phone number. You want to change the phone number to whatever you want to change the phone number to. Okay, and that's pretty self-explanatory with, with everything else. So that's it. And then once we're done with that, remember to get out of this, we want to click on the Move tool, and then that will be actually changed. Um, again, let's say I want to come over here and change it. I would either right-click here and then choose that layer, or I would run up and down here and find the actual layer that I need to change and click on that layer. Then I would select the Type tool, come over here and change this to my phone number. Okay, and then click Move after I'm done. And uh, let's say I don't like the bed bug thing. I would come over here and click on the bed bug layer or find the bed bug layer over here delete the bed, bed bug layer or I can just actually this is the bed bug protection right here is the one that we're on right here I would just make that invisible and maybe just keep that there and that's all that's that's all it is and again the only difference really is the use of layers that's the big thing um, and then to place anything you just come under file and then place so that's basically all there is to changing things here uh, again the other thing you'd want to change is your postal uh, your your bulk mail permit because you don't want to use mine obviously but we want to come under here and click on let's see I think shape 2 is the actual shape so we can move that and then that's gonna uh, have something different and then the pre-sort see how it starts with that actual text we want to come and click on the T and we want to click on permit number okay now here's something interesting that just happened because I probably wasn't clicked on the right spot but what happened was a new layer was actually created so that's a little bit a little bit strange I could tell that just because I'm used to using Photoshop but it says layer 9 which is a new layer and also that little dot button right down there so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that layer and see if I can get back into switching out my permit and you know I think what's going on here is this is actually yeah, that's what's going on. This is actually a, a graphic, and not the uh, and not text. So realize that that's what's going on there. So you can't edit that. You have to actually go and put in your own information. So I'm going to go and delete that. Um, you would want to just go and create a new text box by coming here, opening that, and putting in wordage that's similar to that. And probably in the near future, now that I realize that that's a graphic, I may change that and put in whatever words that you want to put in and again to make it make them smaller it's just similar that you want to use this little window area up here and you want to come up to character character is where you kind of manipulate the text a little bit better so you're going to highlight whatever you're going to manipulate and you come under character which is going to allow you to make the text smaller larger that type of thing and then right now we probably don't want it to be Arial black because that's a very bold there we go we would put it there and then we would type in whatever text that we wanted to put in for that little line of code and your postal service will give you whatever code that you need to put in for that obviously so that's basically it and, and again it's just mostly about just using these layers making sure you got the right layer highlighted and then changing the layer that you actually want to uh, uh, edit